Why is there within the church as a whole a lack of reconciliation within the brethren? I think one thing gets in the way of our reconciling, and it's a word we call pride. How many times has pride got in the way of you reconciling with someone? That's a mean, ugly word, isn't it? Galatians 6, 3, for if a man thinketh himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. You know how many of us are deceived by thinking we're something we're not? You know, pride gets in the way of reconciling. But can I say this within the church? The things that unite the people within the church are far greater than the things that separate them. You hear that? Listen, 90% of the things that we believe are the same. Probably more than 90%. I would say that within a church, I would say politically, fiscally, ideologically, uh, theologically, philosophically, for the most part, 90% of what we believe is in line with one another. And yet, you know what? At times, they're still infighting. Isn't Isn't that just crazy? Now, you take the given Christian and you put him on the street in the world, probably agrees less than 10%. But yet, the Christian gets along with the world. Explain that to me. The world does not agree with us theologically, doesn't agree with us politically, doesn't agree with us philosophically. And yet at the same time, we've got Christians that get along with the world more than Christians get along with their brothers in Christ. Explain that to me. I don't get it. They can't look past differences. They can't lay down their arms and say, hey, brother, you know what? We need to get right. Can I say this? There are times to separate. You separate for sin and you you separate for for, for worldliness and things of that nature. Of course, for for things that are, are not sound doctrine, I get it. You know, if we separate ourselves from everything that doesn't agree 100% with us, we are going to be very lonely. At some time, there's got to be compromise. Not negatively. I'm not talking about compromising with sin and worldliness and things of that nature. What I'm simply saying is sometimes you just have to say, brother, man, I love you. And it's not worth not getting along. You have to get along. You have to be kind to one another. I'm not saying that there's never a time for separation. I'm saying that at times we over-separate. I know churches that separate themselves over a philosophy of of ministry. We have to be careful of that. Listen, I have my own philosophy of ministry. I do. But does that mean that I'm going to be a hater of other people who have a different philosophy of ministry? If it's not dogmatic doctrine, I have to be very, very careful. Or else we're going to alienate ourselves. and You're going to alienate yourselves. And so as a church, if we want to grow, we have to remember to reconcile when we can reconcile. There are times that you cannot reconcile. 